<laughs> This is Dr. Hiroto Namihira of Dynamic Visualization Technique Laboratory sending the Black Shores formula. There are three ways to derive the Black Shores formula. One, probability theory. Two, stochastic differential equation. Three, heat equation. Let's show each model's essence visually. The first is an approach with the probability theory. Interest 0.03, sigma 0.2, term 1.5, strike 130, uh, initial uh, stock is 100. Price change is simulated. The second is an approach with the stochastic differential equation. The value change is described with brown movement. The value distribution at time t is solved using the knowledge of the Ito integral. The Third is an approach with the heat equation. Option price property is derived and proved to obey the heat equation. The heat equation is solved under the boundary condition of option right at term and t. Now we focus on an approach with the heat equation. <coughs> Suppose a bill X consists of two parts. One is fixed part by interest and the other is a, a changing part by chance which expressed as brown movement. We can tell the bill value at t. A price k in the future t is set up. What is the value of the right which promises you at the future being able to buy the bill at cost k when the bill is higher than k? The answer is the Black Scholes formula. Now a derivative f is introduced which satisfies the following two conditions. It coincides with the value of the option, option cost at time t equals 0. It coincides with the promised profit at the future time t equals equal large t. The small change dx in dt is expressed as follows. This part is the fixed part by the interest in dt and uh, this part is the random part in dt. Neglecting the higher degree of infinitesimal leads to the following expression. Then, the small change of derivative f is written as follows, this Taylor expansion, where the item of 2 power of x is replaced by dt. The last item comes from Ito formula. Aiming to delete the, the dx item, which includes a random change, new item is introduced. The reason is its small change is expressed like this. And we reach 
to the next portfolio. Calculating the small change of the portfolio 1 reveals that it, it has no random, I, random item DB. The result is as follows. The right side of the expression doesn't include random element B, so it must be equal to the small change of interest in DT, which does not depend on the random element. Such a term is expressed like this. This leads to the next equation. And this is the equation to solve. Now we show several samples, sample solutions visually. The solution F coincides the strike, strike price at the specified time t and, and also coincides the option cost at time 0. This height is the option cost. From this time on, the problem is how to solve the partial differential equation and belongs to the pure engineering. The basic expression is transformed into a form easy to solve. First of all, notation large x is replaced with small x according to no conventional notation. Transformation 1 function u is introduced, and the expression is transformed as follows. Transformation 2. This uh, transformation is performed where time direction is reversed, and x is measured by log because x has exponential growing property due to the interest. As a result, we get at the final form as follows. This is the typical expression of the heat equation. <coughs> now, <coughs> for the deep understanding's sake, we show some visualize Visualize the solution of heat equation. This is boundary condition. Another case. <clears throat> 
following the transformation and the specified strike price is expressed as follows and used as the boundary condition. It is known that the partial differential equation is solved using the boundary condition like this. Getting back to the former notation f, it is expressed as follows. The option price we are looking for is expressed at the value of f where x equals x0, uh, that is the initial bill value s, and t equals 0. As a conventional notation, it is written as follows. This is the Black-Scholes formula. The function f is continuous at every point but the boundary. At the boundary, f is discontinuous in the first order differential. How interesting. To tell the truth, it is very natural that bill change relate heat equation. The reason is that bill change is expressed as brown movement and the heat equation also relate to the brown movement. So, they are common in its mechanical roots. black shorts formula is derived from heat equation using the dynamic visualization technique. We hope you feel eureka.